in this video let us discuss about the applications of stack and in that conversion of infix to postfix before working out on the example let us see the rules for converting an infix expression to postfix expression first step we have to read the character from the input stream one after the other the character must be read and according to the character if it is an operand we have to follow one step if it is an operator we have to follow another step if the character encountered is an operand it should be placed on the output and if the character is an operator it should be pushed onto the stack before pushing it onto the stack we have to check with the precedence of the operator and the associativity of the operator so before uh, checking the precedence this open parenthesis or right parenthesis if it is encountered in the input stream it has the highest precedence and it should be pushed onto the stack without any checking yes. and if an encountered character is a right parenthesis all the symbols present inside the stack should be popped out till it reaches the left parenthesis if any other symbols apart from this pull uh, right parenthesis or left parenthesis encounters we have to go with the check of precedence and after that we have to either push or pop the operators one after the other the precedence rule works like this the plus and minus operations addition and subtraction operation will have low priority and multiplication division and modular division will have higher priority or higher precedence associativity of the operators will flow like this plus and minus will have left to right associativity multiplication division and modular division will have left to right associativity and this open parenthesis and close parenthesis square brackets will have left to right precedence if we encounter the characters with equal precedence the operators for example if we have encountered a plus symbol and already we have one minus symbol into the stack both are having equal precedence so we have to check the associativity it is left to right and according to that we have to perform the push given here first step we can check the first operator read the character from left to right the first character encountered is a left parenthesis since it has the highest precedence it should be pushed onto the stack and there will be no string in the output second step read to the next character the next character is a since it is an operand the stack remains same and it is placed on the output stream next character is the operator which is subtraction we have to check with the precedence the operator which is encountered now is having lower precedence than the operator which is present inside or the left parenthesis so this should be pushed onto the stack so the stack changes like this first we have the left parenthesis and after that we have the subtraction operator the output remains the same as a next step the next we have to read on b so the character read is b this is an operand so stack remains the same and it is pushed on to the output string next is the character string we are encountering is a close parenthesis as per our rule we we are we have written that when we encounter a close parenthesis we should pop all the symbols till we reach the open parenthesis so we are going to pop the symbol here we have a minus symbol after that and uh, we have a left parenthesis so pop out both of things out the output will be changed like this first this will be popped out so we have a minus here and as this open parenthesis is closed with this one the stack remains empty we have popped out the operator move on to the next character the next character red star there is no input string in the stack so we are pushing the star into the stack and the output remains as ab minus next step we are reading the next character the next character is open bracket or parenthesis so we have taken the parenthesis 
push this parenthesis into the stat since it has higher precedence it will be placed on the stat after that the output string remains the same next character read is c which is an operand so stat remains the same and the output string will be having a slight change next the character read out is plus now Checking on to the precedence rule, since it is an open bracket, this plus is having lower precedence and this bracket is open bracket. So, till we reach the close bracket, we should not pop out anything. So, this plus is pushed onto the stack and the output remains the same. And the last character we are going to scan is D. The output will be changed and the stack remains the same. Since it is an operand, we change it on the output. Next, we have to read the next character. The next character is close parenthesis. As per our rule, if we encounter a close parenthesis, all the uh, symbols present inside the stack must be popped out till we reach the open parenthesis. So, we are popping one after the other. The first popping string is CD plus as the plus is present here. And this left right parenthesis is having the equivalent open parenthesis here. So, we stop with this and the stack will be having star in the top. Now, as we encounter the end of the string, we are not having any character after this. If we encounter the end of the string, pop out all the symbols from the stack and write it on the output screen. So, as per that, we are having only multiplication symbol. It should be popped out and the output will be like this. A, B minus, C, D plus and star. This is the answer for the above infix notation.